Ngā mihi mahana kia koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. Whether you're in Tamaki Makaura, Auckland, where I am, elsewhere in Aotearoa, New Zealand, or somewhere else around the world, thank you for joining us. Aotearoa's theme for APEC 2021 is homie, huie, taikie, join, work, grow together. That's very much reflected in Westpac's values of working together with customers and communities to build greater outcomes for everyone. More specifically, connecting Indigenous peoples from around the region to APEC is one of the objectives of APEC 2021. I'm looking forward today to hearing from some key business leaders about how government and businesses can work with Indigenous groups to help grow wealth more equally and to ensure no group is left behind. Although we've come through COVID-19 relatively well, the way we do business has changed forever. There will be more challenges ahead, but also opportunities to do things differently and better. That's why, to coincide with this event, we've released a report into the Māori economy encompassing all assets owned, wealth generated and income earned by Māori in Aotearoa. The Māori economy already contributes about $18 billion a year to GDP, but we want that number to be much higher. Our report, authored by Burl and Opinative, outlines the potential for growth. It spotlights Māori small businesses who are thriving by staying true to their values of relationship building, shared responsibility and respect for the environment. But the report also highlights a number of barriers to achieving more growth. Firstly, Māori are overrepresented in low-skilled jobs, which contributes to an income gap of around $2.6 billion between Māori and non-Māori. Secondly, a lack of access to funding is holding Māori businesses back. And thirdly, linked to the second point, Māori home ownership rates lag well behind non-Māori, depriving would-be entrepreneurs of an asset to borrow against to start their own business. These are complex and interlinked challenges and it's on all of us to try and tackle them. At Westpac, we have work underway to address these issues. In June, we signed Australasia's first ever social loan with tertiary education provider Tipukana, worth $125 million. Tipukana has to put that funding towards initiatives that align with specific social outcomes, such as providing better access to job training for rangatahi. We're working to connect with more Māori and diverse businesses through our supply chain. And as part of our commitment to help more Kiwi families into home ownership, we've worked with Kainga Ora on a shared equity scheme that was announced last week. In 2020, we partnered with Waikato Tainui on a similar scheme to help iwi into their own homes. The good news out of the report is that these challenges bring with them opportunities for success. The Māori population is young and it's growing fast. Between 2013 and 2018, the Māori labour force grew by 40% compared to 8% for non-Māori, and that growth is set to continue. Our rangatahi are our future. Providing them with the skills and support they need to thrive in the workforce is the first step to clearing those barriers that have traditionally held Māori back. Today's speakers, I'm sure, will have ideas on how best we can do that. We also welcome your feedback, wherever you are or whatever your background, on how we can all support Māori workers and businesses to reach their potential. Mahi tahi tato. Kaha aki tato. Together we can help each other to be strong. Thank you.